Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You're here with your girl D, and you're watching your girl in the kitchen, Spice Infusion Kitchen. So today we are doing a massive order. So I thought I'll bring you guys in to see how I do my version of a seafood boy. So right here, you can see this big pot because we have we've got the orders going in, right? It's Easter, it's it's Good Friday, we give thanks, and it's fish, right? So I pre-boiled this, crab and lobster, and I'm going to also pre-boil the corn and the potatoes, and then we're going to put that all in the bag and all that good good. Right, so here we go. I seasoned and flavoured up the water that I boiled the crab in and the um, lobster tails. So this is snow crab guys, and there are lobster tails in there. So all of that seasoning, can you see that? There we go. So that's that. So I'll let you know what I seasoned it up with. So I use my green seasoning. Of course we had to get the green seasoning in there. I use some Maggie All Purpose. My favorite, Badia Tropical. I use some garlic paste. Badia um, Abodo, uh, it's like an all purpose seasoning. Then we got the Maggie fish seasoning right here. And then we went to America again, guys. Well, this is American as well. But we got some Old Bay seasoning, right? And we used some lemon and herb seasoning in there as well. Old Bay, okay? So that's what we use. Uh, you guys, you can get these from Amazon as well, just in case you want to know. All right? So I'm going to go and tie up my hair because we got to get the rest of the stuff done. we got to get this bag done, okay? So I'll see you back when everything is boiled and I'm putting the bag together. See you on the flip side. Hi, guys. Welcome back. So... I'm making the sauce whilst everything is on the boil and whatnot. I'm making the sauce. So um, I kind of went ahead. So in here I've got quite a lot of butter because I'm making a big pot of sauce. I've got um, a whole bunch of spring onion or some people call them scallion. One whole onion, two handfuls of mixed uh, peppers and I've got a hot pepper and a handful of, well, or about, what's that, four or five swigs of uh, thyme okay and I've put a bit of seasoning in here so I've put my usual my all-purpose my badia tropical seasoning literally the same seasonings that I showed you before minus the old bay I didn't put any old bay in here so what we're gonna do right now is we're making a sweet chili sauce to go with and this is my famous sweet chili sauce guys to go with the boil okay so I've put quite a lot of butter because you want that sauce. The butter is what gives it flavour. You know, what is a seafood ball without a buttery sauce? Okay, so I'm going to let the butter kind of melt down. And to that, I'm going to add, uh, I don't know, I'm making a big thing. As, as you know, spice don't measure. So about quarter, this is about quarter ketchup, right? Oh, I've also added um, about half a cup of honey in there as well and this is the sweet chili sauce so this was a brand new bottle so I've put like three quarters of the bottle yeah just about three quarters of the bottle okay and I'm just gonna let that kind of go up together mix that together and kind of just let that come to the boil well not to the boil but you know heat it up a little bit then when you start to see a little bit of bubbling, we are going to add our coconut milk. So to this, I'm going to add one tin, or actually, yeah, one tin of coconut milk. Two tins, sorry. I'm going to add two tins of coconut milk because I'm making quite a big batch. But on a normal day when I'm doing it for myself, I will just use one tin of coconut milk. Okay, guys? So we're going to let that simmer. And I'll come back when that goes to the boil. Hi guys, so in here I've got uh, one and a half tins of coconut milk. And I'm going to put that in here now. Okay. And you're going to let that simmer as well. That flavour is amazing. 
smell it if you can smell my kitchen guys okay so I'm gonna kind of let that bubble up a little bit and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna add some water and then leave that sauce so we can just get nice and you know all the flavors and ingredients just coming together okay I'm also going to add into this some garlic paste but not yet see you on the flip side okay guys I'm also gonna add a little bit of my green seasoning in there I tell ya you can make your own or if you want to know how to make it you guys need to comment below and let me know that that's what you want to see comment below and let me know you want to know how to make my green seasoning or if you don't want to make it you could also hit your girl spice and purchase it from me so I'm gonna add some water to this okay and we're just gonna let that simmer now and come to the boil and everything take its color and thicken up okay guys see you on the flip side when we're ready to pack our bags all right guys so I did the sauce and that's just simmering up I'll show you how that looks after so now I'm gonna show you how I put my bags together so remember I said to you that we were doing orders which is why I had so much so spice infusion also uh, caters and takes orders as well so I'm gonna show you how I'm stuffing the bags for my class and if you are one of those people that ordered one of my um, my food bags my, my seafood balls please leave a comment below guys let me know how it tasted if you liked it so that other people can know about that good good that you're getting you get me all right so here we go guys so this is my setup I've got my seafood I've got my um, my potatoes and my sweet corn one of my clients wanted eggs so I'm gonna put eggs in that for her as an extra and I'm gonna show you how I did that okay so we go in with some snow crab legs we pack that on the side there we've got lobster tail and that goes in on the side okay so we're putting sweet corn. All right, we're giving some potatoes. My potatoes are quite big, guys, so I had to cut them. Okay, some potatoes. And. What am I missing? Why do I feel like I'm missing something? Ah, my prawns, guys. One sec. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. And my prawns, guys. That's what I was missing. So we've got some shrimps. Let's that right in there. Okay. So that's my bag, right? And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna put half of garlic, uh, half a stick of garlic butter. So we've got garlic butter in there, okay? And now comes the seasoning. So we've got our Old Bay seasoning. I'm gonna put some in the bag. We've got our Old Bay lemon and herb seasoning that in there remember guys this is just extra flavor this is optional because I already seasoned my prawns and stuff so this is optional I mean if you don't have Old Bay and you can't get hold of Old Bay put whatever seasonings you like you know what you know is going to give your bag flavor I happen to get some get hold of the American Old Bay seasoning so that's what I'm using so this one is black uh, black and seasoning Old Bay okay I guess it's just like black pepper but with a bit more stuff in there now guys I know you're probably thinking oh that's a lot of seasoning and stuff but you know what it's full of flavor we're going in with some of my favorite tropical seasoning here and we're getting in some adobo seasoning okay a little bit of fish seasoning not too much just a touch okay 
Then we've got our parsley leaves. Okay, so we're gonna shake some of that on there. Now that also gives it a lovely color. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna kind of just make that up a bit. And there you have it. That's the bag, right? Now we're gonna tie this bad boy up. I've got my ties here. Where is it gone? Tie this up. And then I'm gonna make up the other bag. Now my customer who wanted the egg, she doesn't want any lobster tail. She just wants crab legs, shrimp, egg, corn tail. All right, so um, there you have it. That's what it looks like. And this is gonna go in the oven for about I would say about 15 minutes, yeah? Because remember the potatoes are partially cooked, the corn is boiled, the seafood was also um, pre-boiled. The only thing that's not pre-boiled is the um, shrimp, because you know shrimp cooks very fast and we don't wanna lose the flavor. Okay, so we're gonna put that in the oven for about 15 minutes minutes until the shrimp is done the butter's melted and all that flavor comes together okay so guys i'm gonna do the rest and um and then uh yeah but we're gonna speed it up a little bit okay Cooked, so what's really doing here is the butter, the garlic butter's melting, 
I mean, if you can't get hold of garlic butter, the one I used was Le Pack. Again, no one has sponsored me for this video. I'm just letting you know what ingredients I'm using. So the garlic butter I used was Le Pack garlic butter, and it comes in like sticks, garlic uh, butter sticks. But if you if you can't get that, you know, you can use regular butter. That's just my choice. You can use regular butter and add some extra um, garlic paste in there, right? Not a problem. You can do that. Okay, guys. So we're gonna let that go. I'm gonna portion out the sauce for my customers, and then uh, we're gonna come back and show you the finished product. Okay. Stay Hello, tuned. guys. Here you have it. Bags are done. All bags are done. Look at that. Look at all that sauce. See that? Mmm. How would you like to get your hand on one of these? Yeah. All done. Okay guys, Ooh, it's hot though, it's hot like fire. The sauce is all ready and I thought I'd show you guys my rum punch as well because we're going to deliver that today. So we all set guys, so they got their sauce and they got their bags. What more do you want? What more do you want? Happy Easter, enjoy you guys weekend. If you can't be good, be safe, okay? Remember all this COVID-19 stuff. Be safe everyone. Stay at home. Alright, that's it. Until next time.